data and, and kind of away they go. So you can do a lot, and, and, and the great thing about uh, WordPress is that you can be very flexible with uh, both the front end and back end experiences. So um, like the gentleman mentioned, sorry, I didn't catch your name. David. David, like David mentioned, you really do want to cater the CMS to, to the client. If they're fairly advanced, you may go with uh, a different CMS that caters to, to, to an advanced group. I find WordPress to cater quite nicely to the novice group. If you um, set up your back end and front end that way, you can, you can have a really, really easy uh, user experience on both ends. So, um, yeah, a lot of what we do is that. It's just, you know, user experience. And, you know, you just, accessibility and user experience, again, like the, like the other guys mentioned, are kind of one on ones. You're just tailoring what you're offering your people to, to who they are and what they can do, right? So if they have certain challenges, you want to make sure you can do what you can to combat those in, in any way possible. So um, there's a lot of great tools and, and, and a lot of uh, great things you can add to WordPress to kind of make things accessible. But at the end of the day, you have to uh, evaluate what standards you need to comply with. And then um, a lot of it's front end, tweaking, customizing, adding things, stuff like that. So. It really depends on your project and your client. A great point. So what time is it? How much time do I have? You got lots keep... more time. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> we got probably uh, so we got another ten minutes, basically. Oh, okay, ten minutes. Great. Um, but I have a question about uh, culture and in WordPress and yes. the um, how how is it uh, was it, was on the um, the WordPress uh, accessibility chat on IRC um, a couple months ago and. It was interesting talking to them about the limitations of, uh, like the WordPress plugin that you, you mentioned that John, John, Joe, Joe, Joe went off created. Yeah. Um, it is. It basically fixes the problem in WordPress core, and it fixes known problems in WordPress core and other really popular modules, but can't do anything more than that. And it's basically as much as they can do to keep up with that uh, and the changes that are happening in WordPress core. Mm. And there's some. I think that the team is definitely very dedicated and very interested in trying to go off and to, to improve things. But there's cult cultural questions about how to go off and change all of the developers and all of the mindset to sort of get accessibility into, into baked into products in the beginning by default, as opposed to having to go off and create patchy afterthoughts to fix things that shouldn't have been a problem in the first place. So any sort of thoughts on cultural issues? I mean, it's a, it's a great point, I think. Um... You know, the WordPress accessibility group, um, they've been around for a while, but I think they're only really starting to pick up steam, like, more more recently than not. Um, I mean, yeah, I definitely agree. I think the overall goal should be that, uh, you know, the group shouldn't have necessarily have to be going in and auditing the hell out of each new version. Um, you know, a lot of that stuff uh, should be documented. Uh, uh, standards or guidelines should be printed and posted for uh, WordPress.org. <laughs> Development teams to implement into their um, into their development processes. I definitely agree. Um, I actually did uh, a talk, and I'm trying to uh, gain some momentum on more of the uh, the the WordPress group right now. Really focuses on just core um, uh, auditing, and uh, I did a presentation in Toronto uh, at the Toronto WordCamp and uh, about more of the community aspect. So um, you know. Ensuring that guidelines are produced and documented for um, WordPress.org de developers, theme developers, plugin developers, um, all their community hubs. So WordPress.org, um, WordPress.com, WordPress.tv, uh, WordCamp.org. All of their community hubs also need auditing and improvements in terms of accessibility. So not only do we want the tool to be accessible, but my point was also that the community should be just as accessible. So if people want to go and watch videos of previous WordCamps, they should the, the site should be accessible and the videos should be captioned, right? The, that, I think that's uh, that was one of the uh, points that I made in that uh, specific talk. Um, and so, you know, the, the the culture in the community I think is still um, hasn't really picked up a lot of steam. But I'm hoping that, um, you know, because Ontario uh, is a progressive uh, in terms of accessibility versus all the other provinces, I'm hoping that we can kind of get something started in, um, you know, in Toronto, Ottawa, wherever it is, even across Canada, it doesn't really matter, where we can um, start to develop those uh, kind of guidelines and those processes where, 
know, the accessibility group isn't, uh, you know, running out of manpower because uh, they're worried about version 4.1, which, you know, hasn't been released yet. They're busy auditing and uh, reporting, ticketing, and, and they do a lot of work. So um, I think that, that that's a great point. I think the culture really needs to catch up to that, uh, to that level of dedication and that level of ambition. Um, so yeah, if, uh, hopefully we, we can gain some steam. Um, there's, a, there's also a, what's called the Cities Project, and it's, also, it's, it's relative to WordPress theme development. So the major cities out there uh, are developing, uh, their, their communities are getting involved in developing the more accessible themes that can be used uh, for WordPress developers as well as WordCamp. So every WordCamp gets like a website, and uh, none of the themes that the WordCamps use are accessible yet. So we're also working on doing some of that stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, in terms of the culture, we definitely use. There could definitely be more progress in that area. Hopefully, if anyone here is a advocate of WordPress and their business revolves around WordPress and they love WordPress and they love accessibility, definitely come find me because I'm trying to. Look for people that are like-minded. If, if you if you are involved in the community and you want to be able to get involved with accessibility, definitely come see me. I'll be around all day. But uh, yeah, I've got a couple of people out of Toronto that are definitely interested. I'm hoping that before I um, present it to the higher ups in the WordPress uh, uh, business, and um, that I, if I got a couple of people behind me, that I'm not just one guy trying to. Uh, you know, make a, a loud noise. So I'm hoping that I can get a bunch of people involved and we can kind of tackle things like, uh, that are more community-based rather than, uh, and leave the core-based stuff to the guys that are kind of already doing it. So that's a great point. Um, yeah, if anyone's interested, definitely come find me. We could, we could use all the people that we could get. Um, power numbers always uh, definitely, uh, definitely helps. Anything else? Any other comments, questions? I got a quick question about uh, um, Drupal and WordPress. So, so Drupal, in my humble opinion, is, is a lot further ahead than WordPress is in terms of accessibility okay. from a very humble perspective. Not really, but um, so, but but have have people in the WordPress community looked at what we've done in Drupal that you're aware of and to say, okay, this is what we can learn from and this is what we can do and what we can emulate? Because especially with open source pieces of you know PHP based projects. I mean, a lot of times we're using a lot of the same tools and frameworks anyways, that the opportunity for collaboration between the, the Drupal folks uh, and the WordPress folks to produce something that is is better for everyone is, is, is huge. Yeah, I don't disagree. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much uh, the WordPress accessibility group looks at Drupal stuff. I mean, I haven't uh, dig, I mean, I don't, I don't dig too much deep into it. Drupal, so I don't really know the level of accessibility, but I'll take your word for it, and that's uh, great to hear. I mean, in the long run, right? Like, I think all popular CMSs should have a group of people or a community that is focused on accessibility. So uh, that's pretty encouraging to hear. Um, I mean, yeah, I think there's definitely room for collaboration. I mean, at the at the heart of it, a CMS, um, you know, they're they're kind of like vehicles, right? You know, you may have different types of vehicles, but they kind of they're kind of all the same. At the core, they kind of do the same things, they kind of work the same way, and they kind of use the same con concepts and stuff like that. So, um, you know, if one is more advanced than the other, I don't see why uh, collaboration uh, shouldn't be an option. I, mean, I, have, I think uh, that would be something I have to look into. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too privy on what Drupal has been doing or what they're up to anymore. I, I was. Part of the Toronto group, I think, like three years ago, and I went to a couple of meetups, but it just didn't stick. I, 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 cho I chose my side, and I stand by it. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I think collaboration is great. I mean, if, if the Drupal community has stuff that WordPress can benefit from, I say, yeah, let's uh, get something going. That's great. Sure. I mean, even just local community-wise, like, I don't see why not. It's a great point. How much time do I have? Is everyone sick and tired of hearing my voice? Got room for one more question, I think. All right, one more. Let's make it count. Yes, sir. Uh, you mentioned the audits a bunch. What do the audits look like? Uh, is it like WPEG level one or something like that? Or what is it? Audits uh, of, you mean for the back end? For the back end, for the front end, for the, uh, the themes that you talked about? Yeah, so the uh, accessibility ready, uh, 
the theme audits are based on uh, WCA G2.0 AA standards for the most part. I believe uh, the core audits are the same. I think for the most part they stick with the AA um, guidelines and compliancy. Um, they do a lot of different types of testing. So we've done like um, you know keyboard color contrast. They go through the the, the whole gamut of, uh, of testing. Uh, they got the high, uh, the more higher level developers going in and um, auditing, you know, the line by line, the code, just to make sure that it's uh, nice and clean and, and, and accessible. So the, for the most part, yeah, they, they're 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 reaching the the double A standard uh, at, at best. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think that's all the time I have for uh, today's talk. I, again, I will be around all day. You can come and find me. Tap me on the back. Uh, just don't like push me around or anything, Billy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if anyone has any questions or if anyone wants to get involved, anyone wants to contribute to the WordPress uh, accessibility group or anything else, um, just come find me. I'll have my presentation available on my Twitter, at Genius Web Media. Also, feel free to send kind comments. If you want to bash Drupal, it's a great place to do that. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I appreciate your time, and thank you very much. So we've got a 15 minute break to suck up more coffee, to talk to each other. So much of uh, the, uh, these sessions is about uh, networking and talking to each other. And then Thanks. there's going to be an excellent talk by Adam Spencer about PDF accessibility. Uh, that'll be right here. And there's some other talks happening elsewhere, but they don't really matter. Um, no, us. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one, and, and then the schedule's updated. What are the other two talks that are going on? Uh, area. Oh yeah, okay, there's that one that's continuing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the networking session. Then we'll announce the next uh, the next talk after that. It's a problem. It's good to, to hear what's going on in WordPress. I, you know, sometimes let's go on that side of the wall. And it's just, I was like, ah, yeah, that's way better. Way. <laughs>